I have a very beautiful poem to read to you by a poet, a writer named John Rodell. I'm not sure how I got on his Facebook feed, but every time I read a poem of his, it just really touches my heart. And this one that he wrote, I'm certain is in honor of Pride Month. You probably know that June is Pride Month. But before I read it, I just want to say that I think that whatever uh, identification or gender or identity any of us relate to, all of those really have to do with the body. And we each are a soul inhabiting a body. And I believe that that's the real essence of celebrating Pride Month, is recognizing that there is a divine essence within each one of us. And it doesn't really matter how we identify with the body. It's the eternal spirit. And I believe that all of us, whatever our identification is, all of us want to be loved. All of us want to be accepted. All of us want to love and to have the freedom to do so. And so it's in that spirit that I will read to you this poem. I spoke to a person who is convinced their deceased brother is in hell simply because of who they loved. I told them that if hell is real, I don't think it is a destination. I believe hell is a campsite that gets formed in the hearts of people who judge others for living a life that they refuse to try and understand. Those who condemn others to damnation are the city managers of hell on earth. <laughs> my love, let us build a heaven in the space that exists between my life and yours. Let us create an endless garden paradise where every single exotic flower is honored. Let us form a community of angels who don't try to polish each other's halos. We only have so many heartbeats left inside of us to waste a single one on deciding who gets to grow like a sunflower under the light of the hereafter. Who knows what happens to us once our bodies release our souls like birthday party balloons? Why spend an ounce of energy on deciding who gets to go to heaven when we can spend our lives building it here on earth with the bricks of how we treat each other? Until I hear the harps and see the golden gates, I'm going to consider this world the promised land. And I promise to be as kind as I can be with your heart while we are here together. <laughs> <laughs>